Hello everybody and welcome to episode 20 of the Pentagon Challenge and today we face one of South Africa's most popular clubs away from home. It is of course the Kaiser Chiefs and uh, very little has happened since the last episode since I felt uh, going away from home to one of the uh, great clubs of this nation would be a worthy uh, treat for you on this uh, 20th episode and uh, let's just take a quick look at uh, the schedule and ever since we cruelly lost on penalties to the Free State Stars we were held to a goalless draw by the Black Aces at home and uh, in front of a thousand plus people it was an exciting nil-nil draw rather than a dull one but I just felt we deserved to win it uh, based on our performance and how we were better in just about every department but it was just uh, you know fair play to the Black Aces uh, making sure they did their side of the bargain very very well and at least we didn't concede a goal either so the premiership table now looks like this um, sundowns have overtaken us officially but it's very very tight um, uh, from my from about fourth place all the way down to I'd say about 11th 12th but then again we could put the Kaiser Chiefs under massive pressure if we beat them today they've only played five games of course but we could you know really make a run for it from them but as you can see their home record is actually not good they've drawn both their home games so far this season and away from home they've uh, won once and lost twice so that gives us a little bit of confidence but uh, we've never gone to a stadium this large in our uh, you know, careers thus far and uh, it was bound to happen eventually but uh, Kaiser Chiefs have been on a little bit of a, a downer as uh, they've lost the last four in a row including uh, two cup games and then also the uh, massive rivalry match they've lost that twice now they've also lost to Maritzburg so perhaps even though they've been away and that neutral uh, territory well technically that is a home game for them um, there is every chance we could get something out of this game so it's worth the live com and uh, just if you're interested uh, Safiwi Shavalala has been released so he will not be taking part in this game um, I'm sure you'll all remember him from 2010 but alas uh, let's get straight into the game um, my team has been selected I've rotated as it's a midweek game which should make things even more interesting but let's just get straight into the affairs and hopefully I can keep all my players happy because they're starting to give me a few nudge nudge wink wink uh, deals asking for first team football and Vuliusli Wana has uh, only 14 days left on his promise and if I fail to keep it I'll have to convince him again but the other guys have been a bit more patient they have 100 days to become happy with their first team situation but uh, I did drop Wana to the bench today I didn't think he'd be 100% fit um, there's their team the 4-3-1-2 seems to be standard in South African football but um, I'm gone with my 4-2-3-1. We'll stay nice and compact for the first few minutes anyway. But uh, some of these players should be really, really elite level. Such as him, Tra Travis Graham. Um, he's 35, he's not so bad. And then that guy is really good as well. So we'll stick on Travis Graham. But all their players should be outstanding compared to ours. And we can only do our best with Van Gran and company in the starting 11. So some fantastic players there and yeah five grand a week for him that's crazy money um but anyway here we go the team talk i'll just say be more disciplined and then probably uh, whip the ball into the box and then that's that'll do for now so um let's just use the generic team talk let's show everybody what we can do it's going to be a raucous atmosphere i'm sure but the kaiser chiefs can rescue their season with all three points today but we can uh, you know, certainly bounce back from the likes of that two-all draw with the Sundowns and really make our season one to remember. So everybody looks set. We're in position. Let's kick off. Um, there we go. Nice quick load time. And we have won the uh, rights to the kickoff. And uh, there we go. It seems to be pretty clean thus far. Uh, good possession. That's impressive. So I'll sh ask for some passion. Uh, goal for Vitz, that's not good news for us and you can see these guys are actually tired yes they are really tired and Alcardo Van Graan could make them pay early on here's Wambi, back to Negun Shama Skippers, goes outside close down very well though and now we have to try and avoid conceding early and Masuki breaks through early 
Masiela Mashuki again and Adolf clears. Relief at last there for Vasco de Gama, but we haven't got a shot on target, so perhaps telling the players to shoot on sight would be a good idea. Here's Gaxa, Baloy, and headed over the bar. Oh, close, but no cigar for the Chiefs, and we'll close him down. I think we'll have to go counter. They are pushing hard while they're still in good condition, and that's given. 1-0 to the Chiefs, and now we have to do something about this. Our possession matters for nothing if we're not shooting. Come on. Right, let's see if we can equalise. Nagidi gives it away cheaply. Negamasha wins it back. Nagidi second chance. Oh, what a shot that was. Just over the bar. So we'll need to go more direct, pass into space, higher tempo and get rid of that. Um, come on, get some something going here. Um, here's Sidibande clearing recklessly. Van Gran, no. I think we'll get rid of shoot on sight now. It's not working. All right, pump into the box. I'm not too happy. Let's go, go, go. We need an equalizer. We're still in fifth, but the Kaiser Chiefs will be rebounding nicely. They'll be in tenth place with games in hand. Adolf to Wambi. Beautiful cross, and Van Gran has been denied by the veteran keeper, Kune. One of the great players Kaiser Chiefs have ever had. And I think there is an opening... Uh, brewing, unless we concede here, no, Mazzabella clears, Abra goes backwards, and he goes to switch the flank, oh, great save, Malambo, but it's not dealt with properly, uh, Manugiyama, cross has been blocked, and the Kaif Chiefs have their corner, the Giddy clears, and I have to say, push for, sorry, push, oh, we've missed the goal, 2-0 for Abra, Let's actually take a rewind and see what's happened. Uh, this is bad. Really bad. I've been telling them to defend for set pieces this week. Uh, it's just a simple header. Really, really easy. And that's 2-0. And it looks to be game over already. But let's not give up just yet. We're, we are Vasco da Gama. We never give up. But unfortunately, Skipper's scuffed that with his left foot. Uh, Gaxa. Mnagyama. Malueka. To Graham and that could be over the top. Good save Malambo. So it looks like the Orlando Pirates and other teams will be overtaking us very soon. But at least get a goal before half time. It could open the game wide open. Oh, Van Gran. How did he not pick that one up? 1-1 um, one, one in that game between Super Sport. Oh, don't tell me. Shit. Oh, that's definitely game over now. Desperately poor. What have we done? Well, I didn't get to finish my instructions there. Fuck it anyway. Desperately poor. Um, really bad first half. I wasn't expecting it to be that poor. And uh, let's just you know get this team talk done and check out the stats. Uh, there's no use looking at the pro zone or anything because we're doing so badly. And it's pretty much game over. I'm terribly disappointed with that. I don't care how good the Kaiser Chiefs are. We should not be 3-0 down when they're you know, half exhausted. So we might go back to s flexible just for a little bit and roam from positions, but yeah, we'll just have to go completely gung ho and hope we can break them down. But that's just an extremely poor first half. And it will now bring up the stats and just see how poor we've been. It doesn't feel that bad because they've only got four shots on target. And we've had five at one on target with better possession, better passing and better tackling so it just doesn't make much sense but they are clinical when they want to be so let's just take off the pressure um, oh don't tell me clear 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 Mashuki Baloi Maleka and Graham nice triangles kept in on over the bar by Abra but let's just get a goal back and rescue this situation as best we can so let's push forward, get a goal back. Short corner, skippers. Oh, good block. Negomash a bit lacks a day's goal, and he even failed to make the pass, but at least we have a throw in. And that's 4 4 between Ajax and Tux. And I'd love to have that kind of scoreline here. We just need one goal, and maybe we can get it to work. Um, probably go back to direct passing. That's cleared. Wambi loses the ball. Adolf, Moyoxiana, Shellar, 
and Skippers has his back turned that's all he can do Wambi good ball intercepted though Negomasha back to Adolf we're looking good in this phase and here's Sean McCarthy keeping it in beautifully and it's deflected in it's a fluke but at last we have something back and let's try and make this comeback of comebacks happen we have 25 minutes in which to do it um, oh the keepers fumbled it Oh, he didn't even bother, you fool. Christ almighty, come on now. That's just bad. The keeper punched it on the ground and waited for the oncoming Chiefs player to score. Just dreadful. And that's given away. Oh, no, I think I've, got, I've bottled this game. Oh, saved and Abra unable to score this time around. So, uh, there we are. So... Mosheki and Abra both have two goals um, so I go hard on them now I don't give a damn anymore uh, yeah and then we'll make our final change uh, Nick Chepe can come on for Nick Giddy and we'll have two strikers now uh, zero dams given uh, maybe we'll bring skippers backwards and McCarthy backwards um, that's all I have up my sleeve and we'll at least try and soften the blow. I was really confident we could get a second goal, but at 4-1, it doesn't matter. We're miles behind. McCarthy inside to Nagidi. Good ball, but Skipper's not quite sharp today. He's missed a lot of chances. And Banda to Graham. Mabasso. Abra to Mabasso. Oh, Abra has acres of space. Good save this time by the goalkeeper. I think we'll go back to control and uh, Banda has the corner kick and it's gone straight in uh, Wiseman Mayua has made it 5 ok I have to give up now just get creative uh, Skippers Wambi corner to give away 2 set pieces is just unacceptable I'm not happy with this and it's, it's just going to show we're a mile behind these guys and I just felt when they were low in confidence they were right for the pickings but unfortunately not, we have to learn how to win away from home and pronto um, here's Malueka Mayiwa Masilela good attempt to tackle him but it didn't quite work and that's saved and Kaiser Chiefs are just rising to the occasion, I don't know how they've been so good when they're low on form, they're low on fitness and just other crap that could be six. Oh, it smashed the crossbar very very fortunate to not concede there uh, yeah screw this come on get a goal skippers foul not fouled I should say but he tries again great ball and Nick Chepe has been denied by the goalkeeper Moyoxiana's corner cleared oh jeepers poor pass I'm just waiting for this game to end now. One minute of stoppage time. And there it is. It's all over. In about 10 seconds. Wambi. Good ball. Skippers. McCarthy. Just whip it in. Now it's blocked. And that's our worst ever performance in the league thus far. And it doesn't bode well. If the poor Kaiser Chiefs team can do that to us. Then I'm a little bit concerned about what better teams could do with us but I just have to say I'm not happy and uh, my tactics were probably uh, vain but um, it was a very high scoring day today with 6 goals for Ajax 4 for Tux uh, 5 for Kaiser Chiefs, 4 for the Pirates and so on and so forth so we're still reasonably safe from that drop zone Tux are the worst team in the league and uh, Bloemfontein Celtic are the second worst team um, but as long as we improve our home form uh, I think we'll be okay. We are doing reasonably well on our turf. And um, that just leaves the schedule looking like this. We play again in 17 days. And then we play straight away against Chippa. They're another lowly team. Black Leopards again. The Orlando Pirates away. And then the winter break starts after Super Sport United. So um, if I can rescue our form, I'll live con this game against Super Sport. Uh, just before the winter break and then it resumed the football resumes 
uh, with Tottenham Stars, Tucks, and then Chippy United. Um, but apart from that, that's everything I can say. We're really, really poor today, but at least no one was injured, and we can go onto the uh, reserves, use their facilities, get a few friendlies, and get these players uh, back to full fitness. Uh, they're a little bit sad, but you can't really blame them. Uh, however, until the next episode, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you again next time. Bye-bye.